we ready? Mm -hmm. We are ready. All right. So we're going to call the meeting to order, the regular meeting at 640. And we have a roll call, please. Tim Kalinsky, Sharon Novak, here. Mozella Brown, Lillian Ball, here. Bonnie Cuthbert, here. Judith Cook, here. And Jerry Bella, here. Okay, I'd like to recognize our visitor. We know one right here, Dan. Hello, thanks for having me. And Mr. Alex Todd, who is visiting us Hello. via Zoom. Mm -hmm. Thanks for coming, Alex. Of course, thank you for having me. So we're gonna start off with Dan. So go ahead, okay, so, sure, Dan. So mine is gonna be fairly quick. I just wanted to kind of give you a wrap up of the renovation project in the lower level. Uh, there are a few little odds and ends still to go, but, but for the most part, we have uh, completed that area. The contractor has reached what we call substantial completion. He has gotten a big chunk of his money, and uh, we are in the process of doing the closeout and punch list items. So those items are ongoing, and we will continue to work with the contractor to resolve any of those. Ultimately, Darren, the architect, will issue a, cert a uh, certificate of uh, completion, and then we will have a walkthrough, a formal walkthrough uh, for occupancy by the village. They I think we had right. a, did we have a temporary? It's done. Did they give it a final? Final. Mm -hmm. That is amazing. Whoa, so nice. They it's that not approved. approved. And okay. they have no issues. None. Whoa, so they nice. were very easy to work with on they the whole were. project. I'm sure the contractor would tell you he's thrilled with their. He was. Uh, it's probably work. rare, very rare. It is That's always. Awesome. It always is challenging to work with uh, some of the <laughs> municipalities. So it was nice that uh, everyone. Uh, really was interested in what was best for the library. And that's, that's a great uh, position for the community to have. So no issues related to that. Um, there's still a few items. I, I have my, you have copies of my monthly reports um, and really there's not a huge amount on them. So we have on the uh, contract and change order log, which is this one, we list the one change order that was issued to the contractor. So from his original bid amount, it was changed by $1,547, which was uh, some builder's risk insurance that we needed for the project. So uh, we did a, a great job. I'll give Debbie all the credit in the world for keeping controls over the spending on the, uh, the I wishes. So Good job, Dad. I'm not done yet. Yeah, uh, <laughs> say, we're almost there. But, we, uh, but if, and if you turn to the second one, which is our uh, allowance and summary log, if you remember, the project had a $80,000 contingency uh, allowance, Ooh. and we have spent to date $56,628.90. There is another uh, uh, change coming for some cabinetry that is being um, changed out upstairs. <laughs> and it's not really part of the lower level, but it is being changed out um, to kind of bring the rest of the, the, that space up to all the new uh, cabinetry and and updated. The only things we didn't do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so they're still like working on pricing for that. Um, uh, I, I would, I believe that we'll be under that twenty three thousand dollars, and we will stay within our our uh, contingency. But uh, we'll see. There's a, uh, it's the pricing is crazy right now for material. Oh, yes. oh and then, yeah. uh, Lead times are also staggering. And usually we would hope to get cabinets in six to eight weeks. I wouldn't be surprised if we told to 12 or 16 weeks. Wow. Yeah. Um, and you weren't here um, at our last meeting, but we put extra money into the building project. Oh, okay. To cover anything. Yeah, I don't know how you're funding it uh, on your on internally. I, I don't yeah. know. Well, I just um, wanted you to I'm know I'm just that. keeping track of this. Yes. If we have to, if we happen to exceed this amount, then we will use the entire uh, contingency allowance and issue a small change order in addition to that. If yeah, for some sure. reason the cost doesn't come to that $23,000, you'll get a deductive change order. So the contractor mm -hmm. gives that money back. He doesn't get oh, to keep it. Right. It's not okay. spent. So uh, the goal of here is not just to spend all of it for the heck of it. Uh, there, the other allowance is for the AV system, which is nearly complete, if not complete. There's one little uh, addition that uh, I'm learning about getting some additional technology down to your big honkin' TV. That's the only way to, <laughs> that's the only way to describe that. I love that. Uh, that's, uh, 
Wow. There's no technical term for a kitty that big except for big honk. I, I think that's accurate. <laughs> so there is a small amount left, $5,407 in that contingency. Um, some of that will be used to get that additional technology down there. So there'll be an additional uh, charge uh, against this allowance as well. I don't expect that that will exceed that uh, $5,400. So similarly, if there's anything, anything left in that fund, it will get credited back to the library. Um, their issues log is the last series of documents. And that was really just a working document for me and uh, for the contractor to keep track of things that are ongoing. There's a couple of things on there relative to operation. Uh, number 66 is an outside air sensor that no one really cares about except for me and the other uh, geeks that want the thing to run properly. So we'll keep that uh, open until it's resolved. We're still working with that. There's some tweaks and operational things with the HVAC system that need to be uh, worked through. Other than that, as I mentioned, there's a progress payment due to the contractor of $117,637.35. Once we pay that, we will have paid him 90% of what he is owed. So just like, just like always, we are always getting a little, we're a little ahead. The contractor is mm -hmm. always a little behind with his billing. And uh, that's to protect the library, sure. frankly. That's so uh, he will be uh, submitting payment applications here over the next month or two, depending on how quickly he gets all these items closed out. We'll allow him to reduce his, what we call retainage, uh, to a, a lower percentage uh, as work is completed. But until everything is done and the contractor is, or the uh, architect has signed off on him, he won't get all of them. And, and that's just way it goes. Uh, so that's really all I have, unless anybody has any questions, comments, complaints. You know, I don't know if you saw the most exciting thing to me about it is the new lights on the park. They match the ones that were put out front. So, oh, I so try and have a really long meeting and make it dark when you see it. <laughs> we'll be there other soon than, enough. Other than that, you'll we'll, wow. we'll have to wait for the winter. Yeah. What a it's difference. Awesome. Yeah. What a yeah. difference. It's, uh, Great. it's beautiful and, and, you know, it does a good job lighting up the parking lot. And it's, uh, from a security standpoint, it's. And it's nobody good. said anything like the neighborhood. Like, yeah, we don't have Broadway in our house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, in the neighborhood. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I never thought there was, of that. Uh, there was a lot of Because it is done. much broader. It is much brighter. They're probably grateful. Yeah, that, that, so. that was that was, that was so? really bad, bad. The architect had to do what they call a photometric study. So oh, they wow. look at how far off the property line, what's the light level. So, the, yeah. so we're in compliance, but it's sometimes when it's just a change, right. people perceive it yes. as being, you know, wow, that's really bright. Yeah. But yeah. if a new building were going up in this place, that's the uh, standard that the new building would have, have been uh, built to. Right. Well, that's so, good, because we want to be good neighbors. Right. Mm -hmm. right. I said they probably appreciate it. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I would. Yeah. From a security standpoint, it's, it's mm -hmm. really ideal. That's all I have, unless anybody has any questions, okay. concerns, otherwise. Okay. Thank you, Dan. Wonderful. Thank you very much. We're almost to the end of another great project, buddy. One more. <laughs> we'll get the next one on the books. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what it is yet. Oh. Okay, we'll have to retrain someone else then. <laughs> yes, you will. Can Debbie be a consultant? We might be hiring Debbie as a, your building consultant. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, 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 I might be a little nervous. Could you do that? She might not want me. Why? Why? Oh, yeah. I'm good oh my gosh, I tell everybody, I would not do a project without you. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. <laughs> and I, everybody feels that way. I we always say that. Oh, yeah. We know you have our back. Yes. Yep. Okay. And we were very fortunate with this general contractor. Yeah, yes. I will. Too. I will yeah. agree. Yeah. Agree with that. The Henry Brothers did a good job. Specifically, their guy who ran the job yeah. was very conscientious and and you know did a good job of, of what we would consider a smaller renovation like this. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's it's difficult because you either get small contractors who are in over their head uh -huh. or big contractors who don't really care about it. Right. So yeah. we ended up kind of right in that yes. middle ground. We had a bigger Henry Brothers is a decent, a big, yeah. bigger contractor. But they uh, made a commitment and, and uh, managed the job well. Good. I mean, Joe came out here this morning early for five minutes to check on the air conditioning. Wow. Because wow. he knew it was going to be hot. He told me he wasn't here. Right. 
Nice. That just that's that just one little, little integrity. Little right. thing. Yeah. 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 This is the first time he's worked here for you. Yes, he he didn't work. Actually, with you hadn't worked with him, had you? I have worked with Joe uh, and Henry Brothers not on a library it's many years Put ago. Put him to the top of the pile. <clears throat> Excuse time. me. Put his name at the top. Yeah, of the yeah. Pile. yeah. Said, they'll project. definitely get a good reference from us. Absolutely. Yeah. So. Well, thank, thank you, you very much, sir. Okay. All right. Thank have a good evening. Yeah, you too. I'll thank see you, Dan. All right. I'll talk to you probably tomorrow after this class. So. Okay. All right. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks for coming. Bye-bye. All right. Are we ready for Mr. Todd? Alex, I apologize. Right. I was going to send you an agenda, and I completely zoned out today. So I'm very sorry. No worries. <laughs> We're ready for you. <laughs> but thanks for being here. Of course. Um, it was good to hear about uh, your renovation project. Coincidentally, uh, my library is wrapping up a renovation of our own. We're going for our final inspection certificate of occupancy uh, tomorrow afternoon. So fingers crossed, nice. uh, we'll get that wrapped up and uh, um, be able to, to to finally move forward with that. I don't have the luxury of retiring after this project like some people. <laughs> <laughs> but what are you gonna do? We won't say who. <laughs> Well, here's the deal. I said I was going to completely, my goal was to completely remodel the library inside and outside before I left. Wow. Well, I will have. And then it's done. Yeah. Even those cabinets upstairs. Yes. <laughs> got it. Those sneaky cabinets. And the lights, finally. Mm -hmm. oh, I can't I wait to see them. Fantastic. Well, uh, my name's Alex Todd. I am one half of Diders and Todd Library Consulting. Um, and uh, we're going to help you uh, with the director search to replace the irreplaceable. Um, after Debbie retires, uh, you know, we will walk you through the steps of um, and, and do a lot of the steps for you of, of finding your next leader. And uh, it, it is possible and we will find you an outstanding, we'll find you several outstanding candidates to choose from. So, uh, you know, my experience in, in, in doing this so far is the trustees come down to the two finalists and they want to hire them both, which means we're doing, you know, Jim and I have done our job very well. Um, and so, uh, yeah, we look forward to, to working with you. Uh, as I alluded to, I'm also a library director. I'm the director of the Prospect Heights Public Library up on the Northwest side of Chicago. I've been director for, um, is it coming up on 10 years? Coming up on coming up on 10 years in September. And I've been at that library for 20 years. Jim also has extensive uh, director experience, most recently at Oak Lawn. Um, and actually he couldn't be here tonight because he's he's it's one of his nights to work. And uh, you know, that's one of the benefits of, of hiring both of us. Uh, you, know, you know, we both have full-time jobs, but we both have the flexibility as the director. I can, I can, I can arrange uh, to be here instead of, uh, you know, at the library because, you know, again, I'm the boss. I can make my own schedule. It's kind of one of the perks of, 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 of being director. Um, we are uh, relatively new to the consulting business and the executive search business, but we've been very successful in the searches that we've done. Um, uh, so far we've worked, uh, we, we, we came into fruition in 2019, and since then we have helped uh, three libraries with their director search. We helped Chicago Heights, and then most recently Fossil Ridge and Evergreen Park. Um, we've helped them with their searches. And again, I think all three boards would say that they've been very, they were very satisfied with the work that we did, and even more importantly, very satisfied with the candidate that they hired as their next director. Um, so with that said, I'm going to share my screen if I can, because, and, 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 uh, you have disabled participant screen sharing. Uh, I, I don't, you guys have the, the timeline of our search. Oh, I, I didn't re give that to him. Okay. I, I can I can talk through it and it, it does it's it's nice to have the visual but that's okay it's not it's absolutely not necessary. Can you help him? Email it to us. Getting you to share your screen here. We never had to do that. I can that. share. It. Yes, I can. So let me uh, bring that up. 
Oh, there we go. Oh, nice. You can see it? Oh, lots of green right, and red and all that? Okay. Kelly beat you to it. Oh, thanks, <laughs> Kelly. Thanks, Kelly. Thank you, Kelly. Um, so, yeah, the, our, our, our process is broken down into several stages. And the first one that we're about to um, go into, obviously, is the first stage, and that's learning the library. And what that entails is Jim and I will come in, and we'll have a meeting with the board, and we'll also have a meeting with the staff. And what we want to get out of those meetings is a sense of what each of you want in your next director. We'll try and get a sense of where do you see the library in the next three years and what skills do you think are necessary to get the library to that point. Um, so again, we, and we meet separately. So we meet with the board as a whole and we, and, and we gather all that information. And we have a similar meeting with the staff at, not necessarily as a whole, because you, you know, you're open for business, but um, the people who want to participate on the staff we, we, we try and make time and, and schedule it so that as many people can, as possible can participate because um, we know that it's important to, to hear from the staff and, and what they want. And it's also, um, I think, important for the staff to know that they're being listened to and they have some role in the process. Now, we make it clear that this is the board's decision. And if the staff likes candidate B and the board likes candidate A, candidate A is going to be the director. But again, we have found that um, both groups are very often uh, in sync as far as what they are looking for in the director. And then when it comes down to the interviews, uh, the, their preferred candidates um, mesh very well. And I think that is good on both sides because uh, you know it's reassuring to know that uh, the board and the staff are on the same page. And so that's really important. So um, this first part is, is, is really critical for us uh, to gather that information. And we'll share with the board what the staff was saying. Um, and so again, to kind of let you know what they are thinking as well. So Jim and I will take that information. Um, we'll also do some of our own research into the community of Lansing the library and surrounding area. And we take all that information and we write a draft of the job ad. Now the job ad is going to take lots of different forms because different places where we place the ad have different size requirements. But we write, you know, usually a good, uh, it's on the internet, so I don't know if it's actually a page, but it's, it's like a web page length um, description where we describe the position, we describe the community, um, the benefits and the salary that's going into it. But we'll also take pieces of that when we need to make a smaller job ad for um, like rails or something like that. They have a character limit to how long a, a job ad can be. We will also uh, review the job description of the for the director that you have. That's often a job description that gets overlooked uh, when you have the regular routine of reviewing all of the job descriptions. The director, like I say, just kind of gets overlooked. It's nice to, this is always a good opportunity whenever you're hiring any position to look at the job at description and make sure that uh, you know, it is what you want to, 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 to do and that there's nothing in there that's outdated or there's nothing that's obviously missing. Jim and I, again, we have a lot of experience in writing these. We'll look it over, and more often than not, we'll say this is good to go. Or if there's some tweaks, we'll 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 bring that to your attention. You can decide if you want to adjust it or not. So all that goes into the writing of the job ad and making sure we have the basic documents for the candidates when they come in. We run the job ad past um, the selection. Now, let me ask you this: Is uh, do you have a, a selection committee or is the entire board going to be involved in the process? The entire board. Okay, fantastic. So then we would share the, the job ad with the board. You guys can edit it and wordsmith it um, however you want. And we'll go back and forth. If, there, if you guys want to put something crazy in there, we'll let you know what we think it's crazy. But in the end, if, if that's what you want, we'll, 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 we'll run with it. And then we place the job ads. And we do a national search for, for all of our clients. Um, 
and, and we do that because uh, you know Illinois really is considered like a utopia among national libraries. People want to come to Illinois and work in our libraries because um, Illinois libraries, especially in the Chicago suburbs, are well funded. They are well used, and they are beloved by their communities. They don't have. Uh, they often have their own independent, like the Lansing um, Library does, uh, independent uh, boards that are elected, so you're not beholden to the whims of a mayor who wants to take your money and give it to uh, um, you know the snowplows or the police department or, or whatever. You're not dependent too much, and some could say this is a good or a bad thing, on the whims of the state legislature cutting or adding dollars, or never adding dollars, but cutting dollars from from budgets and whatnot. Um, so it's stable in Illinois. And again, people want to come here. And it's not just to the big libraries. Um, you know, in all of our searches, we've always had a good representation from outside, of, from other states applying to our positions. And uh, also, you know, others that I know of, you know, for as examples, the um, Western District Library, which is along the Mississippi in Illinois, um, had, they, they switched directors since, but the director before the, their current one came from Washington State. Um, the uh, Grays Lake Library, which is up in my neck of the woods, their director came from California. Grays Lake is, 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 is larger than Lansing, but it's not, again, on the scale of you know, a Joliet or Barrington or, or whatnot. And again, people came here for lots of different reasons, but it is attractive for, for candidates to come to Illinois. So we do a national search. And so we place our ads in Library Journal and American Libraries, which are the two main publications, um, national publications for library professionals. But we also keep it local. We place our ad in Rails and with on the ILA Job Board, Illinois Library Association, and at the Heartland Library Association. You guys were right. I don't know. If, are you on the border of Indiana? I know you're close to Indiana, but are you are you on the border? Yes. 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 We'll we'll place it um, uh, with the. They're not called the Indiana Library Association. Are they, isn't it the Association of Indiana Librarians? I Something like so. that. They're backwards in Indiana, so I think it is. <laughs> it's, it's, it's backward. No comments. <laughs> um, and so we, but we do, we try and place and, and, and get, we cast a wide net and try and get as many applications as we can. And again, we have good success with that. As the applications come in, Jim and I start doing the initial screening, you know, just looking at the websites that the, at the libraries that these folks are working at, making sure that they're uh, listed there and that they have the basic credentials that they're claiming. Um, after the deadline expires for submitting, and we usually give three to four weeks uh, to for people to submit their applications. And that seems like a long time, and it is, but it, takes time for people to see the job, think about it and think if they do want to apply to it, and then to go through the process of tailoring their resume, tailoring their cover letter for the application. And so we do get a rush right at the beginning of the posting um, when it's like high, you know, first up on the list and all that. And then we also get a rush the last week to 10 days as people know that the deadline's coming up and they better get their application in. So that's, uh, but as they do come in again, we, we, we look at each one coming in and start to do an initial sort. And after the deadline, uh, Jim and I conduct the first round of interviews and these are phone or Zoom interviews. And they're just designed to, to narrow the field basically for, for you. So you don't have to do that. We cast, uh, you know, we're pretty generous in who will give a phone interview to if they have the basic, if they meet the basic qualifications, you know, if they have an MLS, if they've been a director before, if they have significant experience, we'll talk to them on the phone. Um, and that's just to get a sense of, um, of, of who they are and whether we think that they would be a good fit to bring forward to the board. Uh, because we want to narrow that initial list down to 
uh, you know, six to eight candidates for the board to interview. And so that's going to be the first opportunity that the board has to see and talk to the candidates. Now, this round of interview, the second round, is also going to be by Zoom because, again, people are going to be potentially applying over long distances and you don't want to make them drive you know, 90 minutes or come in for a long time or maybe even fly in from out of state for an in-person interview um, until really the final round. Uh, we found that Zoom, especially over the last year, people are used to Zoom and you do still get a good sense of, of each of the candidates. Um, we also do Zoom because it's efficient time-wise. These interviews will be 30 to 45 minutes each, but that's still, if you're interviewing six candidates, um, that's still, what, three? I, I, I'm, I'm a librarian, not a mathematician, but <laughs> three and a half, is that four hours? That, that's a long, those are long evenings. And we try and, we, we usually split those up, depending on how many we bring forward to you. They might be done over two evenings, but even if you do three and three, 45 is 90, 120 so, so that's yeah over two hours you know each uh each night for those so those are long nights and so if we can keep it streamlined a little bit with the set um, with the zoom that's what we want to do so after the final uh, semi-finalist interviews um we talk with the board and we get you to narrow the list down to the two finalists that you want to bring back now the final interview is obviously the most important and that is uh, something that is going to be in person. And they're a half day each. And so we have two. So one is going to be in the morning and the other one's going to be in the afternoon. And the exact timetable can vary depending on the situation, but they all have the same components, okay? So the candidates, we ask them to put together a presentation on a topic that we'll determine later on in the process. But it's going to be something um, that will hopefully give you a sense of how they put together a presentation. Public speaking is critical for a library director, not just uh, during board meetings, but you know, if they you know talk and represent the library in the community, they're going to be doing this. And it's also get them a sense of, of their their philosophies on libraries. So, so potential topics could be, um, you know, ex how do you plan on onboarding yourself um, at the library? So what's, what's your first three weeks going to be like? And have them explain, explain that, because that's obviously something that, that's, that's going to be critical. Um, ex describe your perfect library. Um, not necessarily the Lansing Library, but your perfect library. Resources aren't or money is not really an, uh, an object, uh, but you know, just what is it that you focus on? And you would listen to see, are, are, are they uh, creating a warm environment? Are they creating something that's expansive and outside the building focused? So those types of things. So just so you can get a sense of the library, uh, of the candidate. And that is done for the board and for the staff. And there's a Q&A after that. After the presentation, <coughs> the candidate will spend some time uh, being interviewed by the staff and the board will kind of go off and leave the room and let the candidate and the staff uh, talk with each other and, um, and all that. And then after that happens, or if you want the board to go first, that's perfectly fine too. Then they spend time with the board. And again, they interview, uh, they ask questions. Uh, you can ask questions of them. They ask questions of you. They go through the process and um, after that, they get a tour of the building. Debbie gives them a tour, shows, shows them where all the skeletons are buried. Um, and it's really the good opportunity for, uh, you know, the candidate to, to nudge, nudge, wink, wink Debbie and go, hey, what's, what's really going on here? What's the board really like? What's the staff really like? What's the things that you can't say um, and all that? And I'm sure it's, 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 it's all fine, but that's just a good opportunity for, uh, for that kind of discussion to go on. And that's also the point where Jim or I would take them aside as we're walking them out the door going, hey, uh, you know, you've gone through the process. Is this a job that you still want? And they, they say, yes, of course. 
and then we 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 get them to 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 say kind of what their what their salary range is going to be, and we bring that back to uh, to the board and we share that with you guys, um, and then we have another discussion and work with you to narrow down who the successful candidate is going to be. <coughs> Excuse me, and um, that's the general process. Once that selection happens. Uh, you know, it's the, the board president. So President uh, Tim would be the one that does the negotiating with the final candidate, with the successful candidate and arrive at, uh, you know, the salary and the benefits package and do all those types of negotiations. And that's the process. It takes right around four months for that to happen. Um, and again, that's just, it, it can be sped up a little bit by a week or two, but it really does take that long to do a good thorough search um, uh, for, of this type. And you can see like what each of the steps are and how they take, you know, doing the first uh, steps, 18 days and all that. And a lot of that, some of that can be, again, shaved down by a couple of days. It depends on how easily the board can find a, a common day to meet uh, for have special board meetings for these interviews um, and how uh, you readily the, the, you know, and, and, and things like that. But right around four weeks is the process or four months. I'm sorry. Four months is, is the entire process. And um, it's a proven process. It works really well. And again, we're going to find, uh, we're going to use it to, to find you guys uh, your next director. And we're excited to do that. So that's that's my presentation. I'm happy to answer any questions you guys have. Thank you, Alex. Thank you, Alex. I really appreciate that because I think nobody has a sense of of that. I don't believe anybody was on the board when I was hired. No, mm -hmm. no. So you know, and it wasn't done that way. But mm -hmm. this is the way it should be done. So I wanted yeah. to. Well, and especially you three new folks. A thank you for serving. Um, and the new officers, can, you guys got congratulated and well deserved. And also condolences because you really don't know what to step into. <laughs> they're gonna, um, they're but so anyway. we have um, they're repeat they're, re they're repeat offenders. Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> yep. We don't have anybody that's new. New. Everybody re-signed up, which is a very good sign. <laughs> oh, it absolutely is. It absolutely yes. is. We've but yeah. Um, Hopefully this is a rare process and hopefully this is the one and only time any of you have to go through this process. No guarantees on that. We give you a one year guarantee because <laughs> you can't predict anything, but, um, uh, but, but yeah, hopefully this is the, the only time that you have to go through this process. It's, uh, it's, it, it's anxious. It's an anxious time for you. And that's because you guys are all concerned that you, you want to, you want to do it right. And um, you, you will do it right. If you follow your gut, if you listen and you, you read the material and you ask good questions, and that's what it takes to be a good trustee, um, if you do that during this process, you, you won't be wrong. And again, um, it's Jim and our, my, it's Jim and my job, it's my job uh, to make sure that we bring forward good candidates to you. And we will, we will never bring forward a can, a, a, a you know, a rotten apple to this board. If we think that that, 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 cause that's what we do. It's like that they won't, they're not a good fit or they're not qualified or, you know, they're this, that, and the other, we are not going to bring them to you. We will only bring forward candidates that we think would make a good fit and would be qualified directors for you guys. And, and if you keep that in mind, um, hopefully that will ease some of the anxiety that you're surely going to going to feel. And we'll remind you of that throughout the process too. Okay. Just Any one questions? question. Yeah. When do you begin counting the four months? Does she lead when? Debbie? October fifteenth. October. October. Okay. So the timesheet we have here is, I think, I starts on uh, June first. But we have the contract signed with you guys. We've already started doing some of the initial research of uh, you know on Lansing and the library and, and all that um we got to get some more documentation from from Deb 
uh, on uh, the library, like the benefits package and uh, board packets and stuff that we share with candidates and all that. So we've already started. Uh, so this sheet, uh, this timeline, um, has it going through September 29th. And so I'm comfortable saying by the, at the end of September, you guys will, will be identifying who the next candidate is. Will they be able to leave their job and be starting before October 15th? That's, that's probably not going to be the case, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. I know a lot of boards want to have, you know, four weeks of overlap time before the, with the old library, the old director and the new director. And I got to tell you, I've done that. And like after the second day, you're like, you know, what do you do? What, you know, who gets to sit at the desk? Yeah. Uh, where does, yeah. yeah, where does the other person go? And you can only introduce people, you know, you take them to a rotary lunch and go, hey, this is the new person. I'm, I'm, I'm done. You know, you do that once. You, you, you know, and so there, there's not a lot of need to, uh, to have a great deal of overlap. And there's often good thing to be said to have the new person coming in fresh. And, and, and starting it that way. So, um, you know, hopefully that answers your question. But yeah, we sh you know, with this timeline that we have, and, and I'm comfortable saying that the end of September is when you guys um, will be conducting the final interviews and identifying your candidate. Okay, does anybody else have any questions? Zoomers, you're all good. I don't know where Rosella is. I didn't even tell it. Just dancing away. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Todd. We appreciate your time. Thank you. So I'm going to be Jim and I are going to be in touch with Debbie. We're going to need to arrange a board meeting, a meeting with the board. So, like I say, we can come in, and that's going to be in person. We'll come in and and, and meet with you guys, um, you know, face to face, and hopefully have. This, the meeting with the staff at the, uh, on the same day or, or, or second time, but we'll also arrange a time with that. We'll coordinate that with, with Debbie, okay. and um, we'll see you guys soon. Okay, so thank you good. very much. Thank, thank you, so much. you. Bye now. Take care. Enjoy the meeting. You know, you mentioned an all-day process. You never mentioned what we were eating for lunch in between. <laughs> <laughs> That's your job. And I bet you didn't know you worked at you That's your job. <laughs> you didn't know that. I hope you heard that. <laughs> I was like, wait, if it's all day in the morning, I just work. Oh, no. Do you have to figure it out? Yeah. yeah, we approve as well. I'll pull that out. Stuff. Uh -huh. And I, they got a bunch of stuff they want me to send them. And as soon as the hometown hero thing is, I will send that to them. <laughs> okay. I'll go around and pull them all out. Good. Yeah, mm -hmm. it would be nice if we went over the. Because I'm sure there might be stuff we want to change. Yeah, right. On that, you know, oh, yeah. So, yeah. So we could. We yeah. Can, I, I, I put on there to bring it, but we might even want to talk about it sooner. I can shoot it to you in an email. Okay. okay. When was the last time it was updated, Deb? Do you remember? Oh, it was. It, they were all done before we did the salary survey. And okay. I think, I think the salary survey was, was even was maybe first, 15. Yeah, it it's was been a while. Pretty soon wow. after I did. And that yeah, might have been just when we, I got on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's been times we were going to redo stuff because we've changed a lot of stuff. And then, you know, we did all this. So that stuff, when we get it, I have like a list of all the things that need to happen. So we need director. <laughs> <laughs> they need to redo the salary. This, because things have changed, that needs yes. to be redone. Mm -hmm. All the salary descriptions need to be redone. We need a new strategic plan. Yeah. We've been working on the tail end of our old one for a couple of years. We we never yeah. finalized it. We knew what we wanted to do. Mm -hmm. But I wouldn't want to have started, because last year we were going to do one, and I thought, if you're going to retire, you should it kind of makes sense to start fresh for a strategic right. plan, right? Mm. Yes. Well, anyway, so that's what I did. So yeah. they have to do a strategic plan. Okay. Right. Those things need to happen, like, you know, not right away, but the strategic so, plan. I mean, yeah, and, and you know, you got to get six months to see what it's like here and stuff. But, you yeah. know, we have done a lot. And now it's time to plan for the next three years. Yes. You know, right. Because we, no we sort of have to box stuff up. 
Is there no time to just relax? We have, I mean, I we have done that because we, our formal plan has not been, I, I mean, know. we finished it, but we knew we had to do the downstairs, do the, you know, mm -hmm. get new computers, things like that, that we just vocalized and didn't put down. Okay, uh, any correspondence, or I don't see any, so I guess there was no. Okay, okay. So, moving on, approval of minutes of the previous meeting. These, these two guys, Alice and Jim, are well respected directors among the directors. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So nice, you know, they, they are directors. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Jim, Jim isn't right now, but he has. Yeah. Oh, but yeah, I Jim is the one I know really well. I don't know Alex. How do they find the time to do that and have their full time job? Well, so, like you said, they just started this and they're getting older. So, so I'll move on. To uh, that eventually, maybe. probably. They're younger than me. I'd say they're all like probably, they're both probably early 50s. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so we need a motion to approve the minutes of the board meeting from April 15th. I move we accept the board meeting minutes from April 15, 2021, as written. Second, anybody? I second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. And approval of financial reports and expenditures, which we don't have, right? Yes, we oh, do. Oh, oh, yeah, okay. we now just we, we had to turn them in early. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, she. They told you that, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah I forgot. She was going on vacation, yeah. so we. Yeah. Had to get it. I had to get my stuff in. I should have remembered. So. <laughs> <laughs> I move we accept the May 2021 general and prepaid bills in the amount of two hundred and fifty thousand one hundred and thirty nine dollars and thirty two cents. I'll second. Please roll call, please. Tim Galinsky. Sharon Novak. Yes. Mozella Brown. She's gone. Bonnie Cuthbert. Yes. Judith Cook. Yes. Jerry Villa. Yes. Lillian Ball. Yes. Okay, and then the director and department heads monthly reports. Anybody have any questions, concerns? Was there a new circulation for doing? Not clerk, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. that She's yes. fabulous and good. Really? She's wonderful. Really? She's doing a great job and we all and like she's happy. Yes, yeah. she's, she's wonderful. That's always a good thing. Yeah. You know, just a little thought that we, you know, TF South is having a recycling of old books. Did you see that by any chance? No. I wondered if they were really going to get rid of any of the books downstairs. But we are. Okay, so I didn't know if the two could coordinate the dates. What do you mean recycling? I mean, what are they doing? They're collecting them at TF South and then they will, there are some facility they're taking them to where these books are recycled. I'm sure they're being broken down. Mm -hmm. TF South. We'll talk to Gail and see what's up mm -hmm. there. I don't know really how you recycle books other than break them up. It's just like newspapers. Right, exactly. Usually, anyway. Mm -hmm. All right, any other comments or anything on the department heads monthly reports or director's report? Okay, the friends in library, as Tim would say, are they still our so friends? They're still our friends, yeah. even though I'm throwing their books out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> are, are, are they okay with that? <laughs> yes, I think they understand that we just need to refresh it, start, mm -hmm. you know, start. Yeah, it's a new day. Um, obviously, since the CDC said, woohoo to the mass, We've been putting stuff back out here and um, our groups are going to start meeting again and so yeah. i don't think friends has a meeting until july okay. but mm -hmm. okay. all that stuff start to come back yeah. to, to come back right okay which is wonderful yeah 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 <laughs> yes. Yes. yes we're very excited i had um dan and did dan tell you i was Physically using him today. Oh, no. no, no, no. I <laughs> Dan and so. Michael. It's okay. Moving all the chairs out of the atrium and putting them back. Okay, those go there, those go there. 
you there. I need some muscle. So there you go. <laughs> I do the same thing. With but it's nice, and people are appreciating it. And good, you know that there's now. Yeah, it's nice to get places to sit. So mm -hmm. and and it appears that everybody's doing what they're comfortable with. So yeah. good. We good. haven't had any arguments or you know. That's good. It's been mm -hmm. nice. Yeah. It's been really nice. Okay, um, setting fee for the non-resident cards for fiscal year 21-22. Yep, it's that time of the year. Mm -hmm. So last year it was $207. When I do it this year, it comes up to $218. Oh, so everything went up because lot. of COVID. I know. Uh, are you all right? I tried, I, I miss Lisa to ask her. We don't think that we had hardly any last year, if we had one at all. I think the year before we had four. So are you all right with that? Oh, she's <laughs> way with you. Kelly knows. We, yes, I do know because it's an Iplar question. So we had zero last year. Oh, we did. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Wow. Thank wow. you, Kelly. Because I missed yeah, Lisa, Kelly. and I'm like, darn. Yeah, Kelly does all the Iplar. Yeah, Kelly. Good for her. Finding for me. Thanks, Kelly. Um, so just so you know, so we'll send it to 18. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We probably won't have it, but if someone really wants one. Yes, because it's money. I move that we set the fee for non-resident cards for fiscal year 21-22 at $218. A second. Can we have a roll call, please? Tim Galinsky, Sharon Novak, yes. Mozella Brown, Bonnie Cuthbert, yes. Judith Cook, yes. Jerry Villa, yes, and Lily Ball, yes. Okay, in the first reading of the idea audio and visual labs and maker equipment use policy, it's on the last, <coughs> the last page of your packet. Yes, oh, sorry, you cannot find it. Um, the very last page here. I think it's on the there. Yeah, Kelly basically took stuff from the study rooms and adapted it as need be. Mm -hmm. um, the way we think, because all of the stuff for the idea lab is all new to everybody. So it's going to be figuring it out as we go, but here's the place to start. So do you want me to read it? No. no. Did you guys have a chance to look at it? It's pretty straightforward. Yeah, it looked pretty straightforward. When I read um, it. Mm -hmm. we, we set the limit at four people per room. Yep. Because, you know, those rooms are very small. They're small. small. Right. Yeah. And, you know, if, if somebody needed an exception, we would see, but we thought that was fair. Right. And um, so it's pretty straightforward. And uh, we're doing it sixth grade and up. Oh, sixth okay. grade and up. Good. We just didn't figure it would be okay. good to do it younger than that. No. Any other problems? Right. Mm -hmm. So you guys have just look at that. Yep. And we will vote on putting it into the policy next, next month. Okay. Did anybody, Lillian, did you have any questions about that? It's pretty straightforward. Okay. Okay, and we'll vote for that next month, right? You said yes. Okay. Yes. We've got to read it twice. All right. Yes. All right, discussion on the library's current state of affairs. That sounds so That sounds so scary. Scary. Sorry. The only reason I'm here. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Who's got the popcorn? No, no, don't get excited. It's just about, well, it is exciting. Ooh. I mean, we have made a huge step towards getting back to some kind of normal, right? Mm -hmm. Which is just awesome. So um, as soon as that thing was announced, I'm on the phone to Tim. <laughs> We just quietly took the sign off, rewrote it. There's still a sign up there. It says, uh, the CDC says, if you are vaccinated, you no longer need to wear a mask. Please be responsible. Mm -hmm. So that's what the sign says. And I so honestly think with everything that happened, people are going to be more cautious what they're doing or how close I they think so. I think that. I don't know yeah. how long that will last, but and, whatever. And uh, we put like wipes out. Mm -hmm. So people, like I told you, I'm not going to have yeah. them yeah. have to do they're this all the time. Right. The computers, yeah, we'll still do that. But, um, you know, 
easing yeah. up a bit. Yes. Yeah. But it pays to be clean in the library. You know, those are good. It habits. pays to be clean anywhere. Yeah. But but I mean, we shouldn't we have, have to do it after your purse. Right. Yeah. If, exactly. if so someone wants to clean the table, there There's should be a wipe there for them exactly. to use. Right. Right. So I thought that was mm -hmm. that would work. Right. Like I said, we just put it out and we haven't announced it because in the newsletter and stuff, we said June 7th we were going right. uh, okay. to reopen. So this is all just kind of been done quietly. Like we, the quiet room is now available. We didn't say anything, but people have. It's okay. our soft opening. Yeah, it's, it's our soft yeah. yeah. opening. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Okay. Nice. So um, it's been going just fine. Awesome. People no seem grateful to have a table and. A chair to sit down. And not have to stand and read their newspaper. <laughs> 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 I think it's a I little think hard. Everybody's right. still wearing their vests due to the eyes. A lot of people are. Yeah. 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 It's fine. Even that's a lot choice. of staff are. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Maddie's mentioned that. Yeah. yeah. And that's fine. And, and do what you want to do. Whatever you're comfortable, comfortable with. with. Right. It's personal responsibility right. and what you're comfortable with. Right. Yep. Just worry about you. Right. Yes. Right. And I am not going to do the mass police. No, <laughs> <laughs> no it, that's not America. So, right. and it happened in my America, yeah. not here anyway. Good, awesome. So, um, it all seems to be going well. Good, so we'll just continue to you know do what we're doing, and eventually we'll put out more chairs, but we're not busy, it's it's picked up slightly right we've seen some more families but i'm sure like now there's no books up there we have closed stacks for the youth so if they want anything they have to ask and staff has to get it right until yeah. the until the seventh which, which, kind of, a crumb which is kind of crummy but once we're open they'll be fine yeah and at some point we just had to do that yeah. and they have worked their tails off to get everything put back down there good it's a huge project yeah. 89 inch TV. I have to get down. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh it's watch awesome. that with the glasses it's so off. Exciting. Yes, and it has a huge sound bar that goes all the way across oh. the top. So the sound will be wonderful. Oh, and you know, wow. uh, at least in the past, who knows, but we always used to get at least 15 people to come to the movies mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. mostly seniors. Mm -hmm. Well, They'll be able to see and hear oh, this better, right. with their glasses <laughs> off, crystal clear, mm -hmm. and it has a um, a protective cover on it, like they do outside, like up at Fox oh, Point. Oh, like, yeah. Because I thought, oh my God, idea. we're going to have this expensive television, and somebody's going to put a something with a bunch of crazy kids sometimes. Oh. So we got one of those, and you, uh, you wouldn't even know it unless I told you. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, it looks just like the TV. Because I thought, oh, well, we'll know. But it's like free, like, yeah, it looks just yeah. like the TV. Oh, that's wonderful. So I think that's a good one. Yeah, I think that's a good one. Mm -hmm. Did you have a good one? 89 inches. <laughs> I said, take your glasses off. 89 inches. It wasn't that's cheap, that's but I don't amazing. remember off the top of my head. But I'm really glad that we went with that. We were going to do the old screen and, you know, Show it on the wall. Uh, oh, this no, makes no. so much more sense. It's yeah. like yeah. so many things are like, why? Oh, yeah. Yeah, do, do like you the cabinets. No well, the, the dumb thing is, I didn't have them put the cable down there, and I'm like, what in the world was I doing? Yeah, I would think there might be things. So we're going to be working. <laughs> yeah, there might I just hope we don't have to put Dan says we will. I said, Dan, tell me I don't have to put a hole in the wall, though. He's like, no, no. I think we can flip it right over the because okay. really there's like no room. He said we might have to take it off the wall. That might be tricky, but he said, don't worry, we can do it. Okay, nice. Let's go. Okay, hometown heroes. Still party. Hometown heroes is this a week from today. Yes. Okay. Six so to seven thirty. It starts at six. six. That's what the little program part will be. Mm -hmm. okay. That'll probably last about a half an hour. Okay. And then people just can look around. You don't have to stay the whole time. Okay. No, but if you're there, you can. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. We'll be here. Yep. And um, so we're, that's why I'm trying to get everything put back so we can set that up. Okay. Next How many do you anticipate coming? Okay. You know, it's funny. I don't know. We have no idea. Yeah. We think it might be a lot. Well, the mayor and the trustees will probably people, be here. Yeah. No, I'm talking about, you know, when you talk about yeah. the We have your home company. A lot of signs up in town. A hundred. There's a hundred yeah. managers. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. that could be a lot of people. Now, of course, some of them are. 
gone, but families, family and members, and they, okay. Patty, Patty sort of thinks it'll be a couple hundred of these. Excellent. Yeah. That's what it should be. So, well, it should, it, really in normal times, time. yeah, because we are be. not going to set up, we're going to set up some chairs, but we're not going to set up 200 chairs. No, I hope oh, people can stand and we're going to set up some chairs, you know. Yeah. All right, we'll be here. Yep. Yeah. yeah, thanks. Well, it sounds, sounds like, like fun. It should, it, it should be really nice. Okay, anything else, Deb? Or no? Okay. Um, okay. I move we adjourn. Lily, you got anything? Oh. Nope, I'm good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Nice picture behind you. <laughs> Yeah, no, oh, thank you. Right there. Beautiful. <laughs> what time do you got there, sure? It's uh, yeah, it is 6, 735. Oh, okay. Oh, that was a good one. I thought those were windows. Do you know when I started looking at her picture?